Right, time now for your bond update as the Fed's dovish pivot continues to play out in the markets. It's clear that bonds and bond proxies are benefiting from lower rate environments. Here with more is Bloomberg's Lisa Abramowitz. Romain, one area of credit markets is benefiting even more than others, and that is the triple B rated space. That is the lowest rung of the investment grade credit spectrum. You can see the extra yield that investors are now demanding to own junk rated bonds over these investment grade uh, bonds uh, has shrunk to nearly nothing. So in other words, people are not necessarily uh, getting paid to go into this sort of cuspy aspect of the credit market. Meanwhile, the amount of triple B rated debt has surged to $2.8 trillion. That is up more than a trillion dollars in the past five years. Companies uh, basically saying, look, let's sell debt because investors can't get enough of it. And the question is, how long can this go on? Is there some potential risk here? Last year, investors said yes. Earlier this year, they were uh, mistaken. And they missed out on a very big rally in the triple B rated space. But last week at a fixed income conference in Philadelphia, a number of fixed income portfolio managers had some negative things to say about the lowest rung of investment grade credit. Uh, Guggenheim's, uh, Guggenheim's Ann Walsh, who is the uh, chief investment officer of fixed income at the firm, said we could see a fairly substantial downgrade wave from the triple B category that could potentially overwhelm the non investment grade space. Chris Gunster, the head of fixed income portfolio management for Bank of America Global Wealth and Investment Management had this to say, credit underwriting is a disaster in the triple B space. So some concern here about the fallout from the surge in the volume of this debt, as well as the growing interest in it from investors.